Hey, Internet friends, it's Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative, and I've got a new guest on the line. Let's see if I can pronounce her name right. I think it's Raina Zia. Is that right? It's Rana Zia. Rana Zia. So, ah, uh, see, I, the yin and the yang always screws me up because I'm a yin yang. Anyways, so I don't do this very long because time is a commodity that we all have in common, and we don't want to take too much people's time, but the purpose for this is just to get people to know who you are and what you do. So, first off, who are you? Do you have kids, married, all that kind of stuff? Yeah, yeah. Um, my name is Rana Zia, and I am a wife. I'm a mother. I have two children. Uh, my children are ages 10 and 12. Um, and I have been, up until recently, a corporate professional in the corporate finance world, um, You know, moving up the ranks to CFO of a billion-dollar retailer. Um, and then in the last year, made a dramatic shift. Oh, so very life. real recent. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. very recent. Congratulations. Thank you. Break Thank the you shackles. Much. Break free of the shackles. <laughs> 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 so now, what do you? What is it you're doing specific? Uh, just a so now, basic... I'm an author. I'm an author of a recently published book called Your Hidden Light: A Personal Guide to Creating Your Desired Life, and it's essentially a go-to handbook. For it, that takes ancient spiritual wisdom and puts it into practical application today. It's literally the book that I was looking for. I had spent a few years really trying to figure out my purpose and and what I wanted, you know, what I wanted to create in my life in this material world. Right. Essentially, I was looking for how do I enhance my material life, and I was finding a pieces of wisdom that really resonated with me from all different books. And for me, being a finance executive. I wanted to just connect all the dots and easily synthesize it into like this manual that I could go to. Um, and that's how the book actually evolved. Are, are you familiar with that? I think the book is The Monk That Sold His Ferrari. I'm not. It sounds very familiar. Yeah, but I'm not. exactly. Kind of gave it all up. And, you know, I'm seeing a lot of that. I think people are realizing that there's more to life than working the nine to five job kind of thing. And um, there was someone out in your area, because you're on the East Coast, I heard of a lawyer, yeah. she was a very successful lawyer, and she just pulled the plug on it and went out to Tulum, Mexico and started a resort. <laughs> oh, that's fabulous, right? <laughs> and yeah, that's what it's, it's all about. I mean, I think everybody feels a calling in their heart and a touch, oh gosh. What was that? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Here it goes again. <laughs> a tugging at their heart, and that's what I was feeling, and it was something that was nagging at me, um, and I knew I couldn't ignore it. And you know, when they say follow your heart, that this is literally what I was doing. It was telling me something. I didn't know what it was. And I did what I could in terms of reading, my, you know, reading self-help books, going to retreats, trying to figure out what it was, what what was it that I was supposed to do that was going to be a lot more fulfilling so, in my so life. So this is really cool that this book, you sort of walk the walk and you can talk the talk now and people that read it can kind of resonate with what they're going through instead of you shouldn't quit your job. You shouldn't quit your job. It's yeah, possible yeah. to quit your job. And sometimes they say you got to like leap and grow your wings on the way down, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. And it can be very scary. And it's, it's really interesting because the book actually helped me through the process because I was writing about um, all the strategies and all the wisdom yeah. that could help people move through their fears. And I was feeling a lot of fear. I mean, when you go from everything that you always knew and everything that you considered security, right, in terms of financial security, et cetera, and jumping into something completely different. There were moments where I was scared, I was terrified, but my writing and the words that were coming through right. were helping me get through it, and you actually would, pretty quickly. You would resonate well with my wife. That's how she is. She's going through the sort of walking through the fire kind of thing, and she, yeah. she's learning, and then she teaches it to other people that it's okay to walk through the fire because it doesn't burn just feels yeah. like it's going to burn. It doesn't really. That's very cool. So when you do you like also do some coaching and consulting kind of stuff too? I don't. No, no, no. Not yet. Um, I don't know if that's something I'm going to get into right now. I think my passion was really about um, really expressing these, these pieces of wisdom, these strategies that I felt really worked well for me um, and putting it in, you know, in words for people to see if, it, if it's something that resonates with that. Sort of a roadmap right kind of thing. Yeah, well, yeah. What you're saying really resonates with me because like my wife was a teacher at the University of Minnesota. She taught Spanish. So she went into the coaching thing because it's kind of like teaching. And I said, yeah. you know, now you're going to be with clients and you're going to sort of be tethered to the clients. 
So I think uh, what you're doing is you got the book and maybe you can write other books and maybe you can start creating merchandise and stuff like that, but you're not committed to spending time with clients and stuff. You could be free. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, I, I know that I'm going to be writing future books, um, but this one is, you know, it birth and it's very young. <laughs> I'm going to spend some time with this one first. Do you have um, a copy of it? I do. I have a oh, copy good. of it. Oh, right good. Of course. Why don't you favor one side there, the other side. There, there we go. There we go. There you go. Your hidden light. That's yes. some light there, Sunny. I'll, I'll Google it. And, <laughs> is it on Amazon and stuff? It is on Amazon. Okay, cool. You can find it on iBooks, um, BarnesandNoble.com, and if you live in Canada, it's on Indigo.com or Indigo.ca. Whatever the heck it is. <laughs> Whatever it is, eh? So, yeah. what was I going to say? Oh, is that the name of the the web domain too? Your hidden light. Yeah. Exactly. Your oh, hidden light. Smart marketer too. It's just perfect. It's wonderful. <laughs> so before I ask my favorite question i got a couple other little questions and then we can get into how we can get a hold of you or how we can get a hold of the book but we kind of just said that <laughs> but so when you do your work are you like an am person or a pm person and do you work out of your home do you, or do you go to a coffee shop to write or where is your, where's yeah, your yeah, comfort no, zone um i work out of my home and i basically when i wrote this book i kept up the same routine i did when i went to the office so you know, get Discipline. up, get ready, like I'm going to work, and I would go to my office in my house, and I would work those hours. I would write, you know, from morning until around probably five o'clock, um, and I would do that consistently. And if I got bored, I did go to the library, um, or I would go to a cafe, but right. mainly it was at home. Okay, well, here's my favorite question to ask, and that's the big why question. It's like, why did you leave your corporate job and go do what you did? And you, you kind of explained a little bit but i'd like to see if we can go deeper on the big yeah, why yeah. why is it that you decided to i mean why not a ski instructor or why not a deep sea fisherman oh or a tour ski guide instructor. Or... i wanted to do that 30 years ago <laughs> <laughs> so why the, why did you decide to be an author yeah well I, i'll be honest it happened uh pretty unexpectedly i would say back now six years ago when I got the offer to become a CFO of a retailer out in the East Coast, I was living in California. Um, it was everything that I wanted. You know, I wanted an opportunity to move back to the East Coast. I wanted um, this particular position in terms of being a chief financial officer um, in a retail company, an apparel company. It was everything I wanted. And I, it was happening sooner than I expected that it would. But in my mind, I thought, I know I created this. I created this because this is exactly what I wanted. And, and at the same time, I felt if I can create this, what else can I create? And that's when I felt like I need to discover what that actually was. And I started to do all of this internal personal self-discovery and, and getting an understanding about how my life works. Why was I able to create what I wanted to create? So as time was going on, I was being pulled to get this feeling to write a book. And I'll tell you, it's, it was completely foreign to me. Mm -hmm. I'm an analytical person. I never considered myself uh, good in English or good in writing back in high school or in college. Um, that's why I steered my career to, to the analytical side, to math, to analytics. So when I was feeling mm -hmm. this compulsion to write, it was really foreign. It was actually kind of scary. I knew I needed to write a book. I needed, knew I needed to synthesize it, but I didn't really believe I could do that. So I spent a couple of years sort of building up the belief of this is what I needed to do. So as things were coming together for me, um, it was well, back in October of 2016. I remember one morning going into work and that was the day that literally the universe was telling me, I'm giving you the time to write the book. I got laid off. There was a company, oh. company restructuring um, and I got 12 months severance. So I had a full year to actually um, sweet spend the time yeah and and do the book so that's what you know that was the platform that gave me the time to write it and and you know i it was i felt very fortunate i felt so grateful for the time and i also went through the natural emotions of fear and ego being you know hit on the head and that had you know being laid off had never happened to me before so I was struggling with a lot of emotions, the whole spectrum. Um, and so now, right, the year is gone, the book is out. 
And I'm now, you know, I had to make a decision, I think about six months ago as to, am I going back into the workforce or am I going to focus full time? And, you know, I, I knew I had to follow my heart, right? The book is all about following your heart. Mm -hmm. And um, even though it felt like a leap and it felt very scary, it felt like the right thing to do. So that's the decision I well, made. You, you took the, the first, on with this journey. you took the first big quantum leap and you got the ball rolling. So now it's just a matter of keeping that momentum going. So yeah, it's almost sounds like the book is almost channeled. Yeah. Yeah. That's really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that's really interesting. Cause you don't know how to write. <laughs> yeah. A few, a few people have said that to me. Um, and people have read the book. Have Very cool. Why don't you show us the book one more time? Yeah. Let's see the book. And, uh, so that's the domain, yourhiddenlight.com. Yeah. Available on the computer. Perfect. Can you see it? I can yeah. see it. So if uh, if you want to stay on, we can chat some more, but I'm going to kind of close this one off and appreciate you taking the time. Okay. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. So we thank you very much for uh, being on Synergy Cafe. And like I said, we'll chat a little further, but I'm going to take it and beam this up to the universe, as I say, and then propagate it out to the world so people can find it. So thanks again for taking the time. Thank you.